All right, folks, here we go, and what a miraculous run it has been for this 135-pound woman. She fought for the belt back in the day, didn't get the title, everybody left her for dead. Look at her now. She never believed that she was done. She knew that she would get back, even if everyone around her told her it would be very difficult. She put her head down, she went to work, and she's back now. And she feels like because of that journey, the ups and the downs, the, the, the torment that she had to go through, being d depressed, not being a champion, all that has built her to be the person that can take the belt tonight. A lot of valuable lessons learned. She's never looked better on the scale. Perhaps that will be an indicator of things to come tonight. So here's the longtime UFC veteran, Chinese star Yan Xiaonan. And it's interesting to hear her talk about walking into that UFC PI in Shanghai because there is so much love in her nation for Zhang Wei Li that Yan Xiaonan is okay accepting the heel role. She is okay being on the other side of that equation as long as she gets the title fight. And her body of work suggests to you that she is already deserving. Back-to-back -back wins over Mackenzie Dern and Jessica Andrade have entrenched her in the top five. And many believe, pound for pound, skill for skill, already, Yan Xiaonan is one of the very best strawweights in the world. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. If it is the most. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger. Luana Pinero. And now, introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC. Champion of the world, Yoshona! Herb Dean, our referee Ready. for this Ready. one. Ready. All right, so this highly anticipated stand-up only event is now underway. Friendly reminder on the rules, and hopefully you play by them. No grappling of any type. So if you like striking, this is the event for you. Also, fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor. This is a stand-up only event. Let's see how it plays out. Front kick by Yan Xiaonan. Just absurd. She's got a quick jab. There it is. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, that hook. Big shot to the head. Solid punch. Is that a huge strike right there? 
there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Trying to hammer that lead leg. There's that kick. All right, so a pretty good series of kicks by her there as she continues to really land at will tonight. I mean, there is no tell to when she is going to throw that kick. And before her opponent can react, the leg is already back, loaded up again. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed it. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Beautiful kick for the Jab by Yan Shaun on. Her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands and she lands very effectively. Punch landed very clean. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, a nice straight there by Luana Pinheiro. Oh. Round two straight ahead. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. Round two of the best women in this division. We'll see who takes the upper hand. You gotta make a decision when you get up off of your stool going into the next round that this is my fight and I am not gonna allow it to slip through my fingers. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Rolls upstairs, gets a foot to the target, high kick lands. And she misses with the left punch there. Panero's limping. That would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. Use your hands to set up that low kick now. Kick lands. Well, she's got a good jab, missed with it there. Well, she said in these situations she had to protect her head, and defensively she has done an outstanding job of that. She could not do it any better up to this point. Big land there. Jan Shaunan's thigh really starting to show serious signs of bruising here. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, nice jab by Pinero. Right on the button. Oh, what a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Oh, big shot land. Oh, spinning back fish. Left hook to the head. Oh, beautiful execution by her there with that knee. We'll see if she follows it up. Really the job of managing space and knowing that she had the right distance to land that knee. 
Oh, straight to the body by Pereira. Oh! In a ton of trouble right now. Oh, big left. Nice shot there by the champ. Visibly limping here. Good run. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round, but not before damage was done. She was cut on her cheek from the strike in that round, and now the focus for the cut man shutting that thing and making sure it doesn't become a factor here moving forward. All right, back to the stool she goes. We'll see if they can close up that cut, and it's a pretty big one she's dealing with on her cheek. It's a nasty cut on her cheek, but it's in a better spot. It's not blood leaking into her eye. It's more pain now because every time she gets hit in it, it's going to hurt. She's got to be a little better on the defensive side of things. Ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. All right, so that last round, another pretty good frame for both fighters. We'll see which woman makes the requisite adjustments here in this next round. Somebody has to really get out ahead. It's too worrisome going to the judges when you know you've been involved in such a competitive fight. A swing and a miss by Funero. Oh, she just continues to land a high volume of strikes here, really just like she did in the previous round, and she does not seem to be slowing down at all. Arrow's left leg appeared to be damaged by that last kick, so could be an emerging storyline as this fight continues. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, she landed that kick. Able to check the high kick. Three minutes to go. Try to establish that jab. Oh, she continues to pour it on. She is landing. Oh, she's hurt. She's hurt bad. Big elbow. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. starting to show some signs of bruising. She's almost smirking about it, right? But yeah. got to address it. You can't laugh at it now. You can't laugh at all. You've got to do a better job of addressing it and deter your opponent from going back to the well. Because otherwise, it'll just get worse and worse. Shot to the body connects for her there. Somewhat surprising we didn't see a lot of body work from her earlier in the fight, but she is getting after it now. Just missed with the left there. Beautiful. Down on, going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Oh. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so a standing ovation from this capacity crowd after that round. A huge knockdown there in the middle of the round. Got to have her feeling pretty good here as she goes to the stool. Back and forth up to that point. But she eventually found the shot that put her opponent on her backside. But how about the toughness of oh. the opponent to get up off the floor and finish that round? Let's see how she approaches the next round. All right, she is all smiles as she makes her way back to the stool. DC, a lot of good action there in the previous round, particularly that head kick knockdown. Talk us through it. She's a really good striker. She does everything so technically on her feet. So you knew 
When you are watching her land so many strikes, no eventually she would go high. If she did and got that big knockdown, that really did determine this round. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five is now underway. And now is the time, DC, where the endurance, the cardio, and the overall skills of these women figures to be tested. Yes, both of them will be tested on the skill level, but also the... Oh, look at the inside leg kick. She grabs her opponent now. Could be the beginning of the end, champ. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. Shout on, gets back up here. Shout on, gets hit with a kick. Three minutes. Xiao Nan's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern from both fighters recognizing that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Let's go. That one's not good. Nice right. Oh, she works the body as well as it. Oh, she is in a world of trouble. We'll see if she can survive. Great body kick there. You can catch a body kick, but you gotta step off to the side. You just can't take it through. Swing and a miss by Yan Xiaonan. So she lands the double jab now, DC. And again, she has said a lot about not just being a one-trick pony, not just being one and done, but to continue to throw volume. And she is certainly doing that tonight. She's doing a fantastic job fighting behind the jab. And look at her double it up. It's a thing of beauty. She missed with that jab. Final seconds. for the end of round four. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round and what a round it was for her. We talked about her power off the top of the show and she certainly put it on full display there. Power is what identifies her. She got her hands going, was able to land a big shot, got the knockdown, didn't get the finish. But if she's patient, sets everything up again, maybe she'll find the finish in this round. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that previous round, and she got knocked down, didn't see that strike coming. No, she didn't see it coming. She had taken a lot leading up to that. It wasn't one strike that hurt her. It was an accumulation of the damage she had taken that put her in that spot. She's tough, but let's see if she can turn the action around as we go forward. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Nice kick there by Pinheiro. Is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down. Get another one off to finish the fight. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh, a beautiful land with the front kick there. Defensively, not a good sign for her that that strike got through. It landed exactly where she needed it to. She has to make change. Oh! She's hurt. She's hurt bad. Oh! A big right hand there. That shot is blocked by Yan Xiaonan. Oh, a huge knee to the body. That'll soften her up. Oh! Just unable to quite find that range. Go after Go after Finish it! Finish it! Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here? 
here. I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. Well, she's got a good jab. Miss with it there. Oh, now lands a kick to the bottom. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Got to shore up the defense. Yeah, she's got to move her head. She has not moved her head effectively, and now she's dealing with the cut. Well, they won't need to go bonus begging after this one. They're getting a bonus tonight. This fight has been all action from the opening hole. I mean, what a phenomenal fight. Both fighters should be very proud of themselves. Very good. Keep going. Good to go. That kick blocked by Pinheiro. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. all the time, right? If you don't close the deal when you have that opportunity, your opponent's back in the fight and can potentially run. The question with this opponent, this opponent's so dangerous all the time, it does not matter that she hurt her before. She's gonna have to close the door if she gets her hurt again. Oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, and she really put it all together on the feet as we show you some of the highlights from the fight. It's all come full circle for this young lady. She said on Thursday that we would see a better version of her than we did the last time she was in the octagon. I will take that a step further and say that this is the best we've ever seen. She should win a pretty clear decision. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world. All right, so there she is. You heard it from Bruce Buffer and still UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. This is a woman who...